so that we can encourage each other. And in doing so, God, boy, I just pray that you'll place a blessing on these young people. God, you've gifted them. They each have different personalities. They're each on a different path that's going to lead them probably to some further education into the workforce. God, they're headed somewhere. And we trust, God, that as you continue to lead them, they will, without hesitation, and with all the energies they have, they will follow after you. And Lord, we're just going to pray these things in your amazing name. Amen. Uh, before we recognize the graduates individually, uh, we're going to show a video. And during this video, I'm going to invite all of the youth staff uh, to join me here on the stage. And then following the video, uh, we will acknowledge each of the graduates and applaud them for their uh, work and their accomplishments. And then we will close out the service. And so enjoy the video and then youth staff, if you wouldn't mind joining me on the stage. When I was searching, your love was never far. You made a way to get to me. You were the whisper, leading me to your heart. Well, 
guys, congratulations. It has been a lot of fun watching y'all grow up. Um, and as John said, don't forget, this is home. This is your guys' home. And we want to watch you continue to become the people that you're going to continue to become. So please give us that privilege and let us be there for you and um, just come home as often as you possibly can. Um, we do have a few graduates who are not able to be here today, but we do still want to recognize them. Um, so we're going to start with Brett Lewis, who will be graduating from Miami Trace High School. He's not able to be here today. And Carter Groff Tolbert. He is graduating from Zane Trace High School. He has been on the varsity soccer for four years, varsity basketball two years, drug free club two years, and FCA for four years. National Honor Society, his academic honors for four years, all conference scholar athlete team in varsity basketball for a year, varsity soccer for two years, varsity soccer team captain. His church activities have been youth group, Nipshin camp, teens of praise, BBS, and spring retreat. Carter will be attending Ohio University in Chillicothe to get his prerequisites and then transferring to a traditional university. <laughs> Charles Joseph Milstead. He will be graduating from Miami Trace High School he has participated in bowling, band, marching, jazz, symphonic, and symphonic band, choir, and FFA. He has been a part of Buckeye Boys State, FFA State Degree, Varsity Bowling, FAC Co-Champs, Rotary Service Above Self Award, Academic Booster Scholarship recipient, and Athletic Booster Scholarship recipient. He has participated as a VBS volunteer, kids camp counselor, drama team, Journey to Bethlehem volunteer, Acts and Heritage Kids volunteer. His future plans are to get his degree in nursing and then to go to the Navy to be a flight nurse. <laughs> Denver Fawcett. He will be graduating from Laurel Oaks and Washington Courthouse Senior High. He will be getting his high school diploma and two years of technician credits. He has earned two black belts within martial arts and was a student ambassador of, ambassador of Laurel Oaks. He has participated in the drama team, youth group, acts, Bible camps, winter jam, and holler rock camp. He plans to go into the National Guard and then in the fall join the Modern College of Design to get his bachelor's in graphic design. Gavin Cockrell, who could not be here again today, will be graduating from Miami Trace High School. <laughs> Joseph Gerard Meehan IV. He is graduating from Washington Senior High and Laurel Oaks with a degree in, in aviation. He will have his aviation license and his high school diploma. He has participated in track, National Honor Society for two years, Academy of Scholars for six years, Rotary Club Speaker, and College Credit Plus through Ohio Christian and Southern State Community College. He has the Honor Technical Diploma, Honors Diploma, Outstanding Laurel Oaks Student, three academic scholarships through, th through Southern State, and the Ohio War Orphan Scholarship. His activities have been in Sunday School class, and he has volunteered at the food pantry. Future plans will be getting his associate's degree after 2018 fall semester, has earned his Air Force license, I'm sorry, Air, Airframe license, I'm trying, and will be, getting, <clears throat> will be getting his power plant license after summer 2018 semester. Plans, uh, Plans on getting his bachelor degree in aerospace engineering at Embry-Riddle Aeronautic University, in which he will attend in the spring of 2019 as a junior in college. <laughs> Kennedy Campbell, who cannot be with us today, will be graduating from Miami Trace.
Mackenzie Irene Atkins. She will be graduating from Miami Trace High School. Her activities have been volleyball, work study, and work at Roosters and club volleyball. She has made the honor roll and college courses junior and senior year and been a hostess at Roosters since the age of 15. She plans on going to Wright State for nursing. <laughs> Mariah Carter. Mariah is graduating from Washington High School in Laurel Oaks. She will get her high school diploma and a career techni technical certificate. She has participated in bowling for three years, choir, band, musicals, student equity council, dance committee, national technical honor society, 4-H for 10 years, and the art club. She has the career technical honors diploma, national technical honor society for secretary, speaker at Laurel Oaks Senior Ceremony, class of 1997 Eric Desario Memorial Scholarship, Catherine Jean Brown 4-H Scholarship. She has participated in jam, music, Revival Ohio dinners, funeral dinners, and teaching luncheons. She plans to attend Shawnee State University to further her education. <laughs> Matthew Gilmore. Matthew is graduating from Washington Senior High. He has participated in school plays, marching band for four years, concert band four years, soccer three years, and high Y. He has the Hopewell Center student of, sorry, I need John's glasses. Hopewell Center Student of the Year for Fayette County in the area of art. He's helped with Bible school for two years and participated in Axe and Jam. His future plans include Southern State for two years and then will transfer, but is not done with college yet, and will major in sports management. <laughs> Maverick Rumor. Maverick is graduating from Washington High School. He has played Little League Baseball and Junior Football and has a true love of basketball. Maverick has only missed one day at school during his junior and senior year and has been atter attending Heritage um, Youth Nation on Wednesday nights. He is undecided at this time about his future plans but is considering pursuing sports broadcasting or journaling. Tanner Bryant could not be with us today, but she will be graduating from Miami Trace High School. <laughs> Trinity Raglan. Trinity is graduating from Washington High School. She has participated in volleyball, softball, track, swim, German club, and basketball. She has received the varsity letter in volleyball, softball, track, and field. She has been part of our youth group and attended the Costa Rica missions trip in 2015. She will be working full-time and taking prerequisite courses at Southern State Community College, then transfer to a four-year college to major in early childhood education. Thank you very much. Again, we appreciate you guys giving us the opportunity to recognize these awesome individuals. I'm not going to dismiss them. We normally send them out first and then we dismiss you as a congregation. I'm going to ask the graduates to hang out here. We're going to bring you back up on stage after and we're going to give parents a chance to come and take some pictures. All right. So everyone stand. Have a great Memorial Day weekend. Thank you for being here this morning and God bless. You are dismissed. <laughs>